The following software tutorial covers cutting your 3D object created in 3D Engrave. First, we need to set up the software so that it cuts with our machine. For this example, we'll be using the MDX40A. And next, we want to check our toolpath direction. And usually, the default settings are fine. So we'll just click OK. And next, we'll check on Customize Parameters. And here you can see all the various parameters that are preloaded in the software. So we'll just click OK. And next, we'll check on the Cutting Parameters. This is where you will select what type of material you'll be using, whether you'll be doing a rough cutting, the shape of the tool, and the diameter of the tool. And next, we are going to create the toolpath. There you can see the toolpath lines created. And before outputting to the machine, we want to make sure that the output device is set up properly. And we want to preview the results. This uses Virtual Padella to see a simulation of the toolpaths created. If everything looks OK, you can then output to the machine. Now that the job has been sent to the milling machine, we can create the finishing toolpath. And for this demonstration, we'll be using the same diameter tool and create the toolpaths. Again, we'll preview the results. And we'll get a simulation of what that'll look like. And you can also change the view from standard 2D to 3D. And you can rotate the part as well. We are now ready to output to the milling machine. And we can start cutting. And that's it. We've now created an object from a 3D engraved shape. This concludes this software tutorial. Please see RolandDGA.com for other software tutorials. Thank you.